Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Pulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Number 85 of 2021, restructuring the Future Generation Reserve Fund Board as follows: the Minister of Finance and National Economy, the Chairman, Ministry of Finance and National Economy Under Secretary for Financial Affairs, Deputy Chairman, President of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, Member, Economic Development Board Chief Executive, Member, Nadir Karim Al Masqati, Member, Tariq Ahmed Al Samahiji, Member, Najla Mohammed. Medishirawi member, Ali Musa Shafi'i member, and Abdullah Abdul Razak Bukhawa as member. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree number 86 of 2021, appointing Dr. Khalid Ahmed Al Mutawa as Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the Information and E Government Authority. His Majesty also issued Decree number 88 of 2021, establishing the Bahrain Agricultural Development Company, a Bahraini closed joint stock company, in accordance with the Memorandum of Association and Articles of Association of the company accompanying this decree. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict Number 43 of 2021, appointing the following directors at the Information and E-Government Authority: Noura Khamis Khalifa Saadoun, Director of the Economic Statistics Directorate; Sheikh Hamid bin Mohammed bin Abdul Wahab Al Khalifa, Director of the Geographic Information Systems Directorate; and Da'a Sultan Mohammed Salman, Director of Population and Demographic Statistics Directorate. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also issued Edict Number 44 of 20. 21, appointing the following directors at the National Cyber Security Center. Sheikh Manar bint Abdullah bin Ali Al Khalifa, Director of the Security Systems Development Directorate, Muhammad Ali Mathani, Director of the Cyber Policies Directorate, Aisha Ahmed Khazal, the Director of the Follow Up and Education Directorate, Salman Daij Khalifa Liasi, Director of the Support and Computer Operations Directorate. His Royal Highness also issued Edict Number 45 of 2021, appointing Yusuf Yaqub Lori as Director of the Information and Follow Follow-up director at the capital government. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, agreed to sponsor the rugby club after receiving a letter from the chairman of its executive board, Mike Cunningham. His Highness said that the club represents a live example of applying His Majesty the King's principles of peaceful coexistence and tolerance among all residents in the kingdom, in light of the fact that the club welcomes all residents with an interest in this sport, along with its participation in the diplomatic and the club's events. His Highness said that the club has attracted Bahraini families, diplomats and others since its establishment and has become a forum for people to meeting and that it represents an ideal vehicle for the kingdom's sports diplomacy that sheds light on its achievements in the field. For his part, Cunningham said that the club is honoured to be sponsored by His Highness and that it will endeavour to apply the royal directives of coexistence and tolerance along with the development of the sports in order to promote further achievements regionally and internationally. National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Ambassador Designate to China, Mohammed Ghassan Sheikho, and the Ambassador Designate to France, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the two diplomats on their appointment and wished them success in reinforcing relations and reinforcing cooperation with China and France. The newly appointed envoys expressed pride in the Royal Trust and stressed keenness on new vistas of cooperation with Beijing and Paris. Paris. Korea's Prime Minister Kim Bo Kyum has expressed satisfaction with the depth of the increasingly growing relations and outstanding cooperation between Bahrain and Korea in various tracks and fields thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and President Moon Jae-in. The Premier lauded Bahrain's progress and prosperity within the Comprehensive Development March and its civilized and humanitarian achievements. He also commended the Kingdom's support to security, peace, the values of tolerance and coexistence and achievements in confronting the coronavirus pandemic to ensure the health and safety of everyone. He highlighted the kingdom's unique humanitarian vision in fighting the pandemic, keenness on cooperation with other countries and the endeavors of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Kim byo kyum thanked Bahrain for its support to South Korea in maintaining its stability and security and ensuring that the region is free from nuclear tests and ballistic missile launches that threaten security in the region. The speaker conveyed the greetings and best wishes of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and their emphasis on the depth of the bilateral relations spanning more than four decades. 
The Bahrain Institute for Political Development announced that registration has commenced for the Legislation and Development Program, which will be launched on September the 6th and will include members of the National Council and Municipal Councils. The CEO of the Institute, Iman Janahi, said that the program is an implementation of the royal vision to deepen political and legal awareness among members of society, which will further develop parliamentary and municipal work in line with the Comprehensive Development Goals. Janahi said that the program will reinforce the capabilities of various personnel to serve the country and its citizens and to shed light on the developmental achievements. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,147,647 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,089,404 had taken the second, and 255,723 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 951 with 95 recoveries, 95 registered new cases and no deaths. 38 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 38 are contacts of active cases and 19 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.